When you're drowning in water and there's nowhere around to save you, you feel helpless and you want somebody to rescue you. Let's talk about that. Drowning in the water. I know. Start the morning off at. And drowning. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday. So, <clears throat> if there was a big enough boat for the Titanic, and when it was sinking, what do you think everybody would be swimming to? The boat. If there was a life raft, and every life raft was hold capacity, and all the people on the Titanic could be saved, what do you think the people would be swimming to? The life rafts. They wouldn't sit there going... Well, you know, I really don't believe it's there. I really don't think that it's possible. Maybe I'll swim the other way to the sinking ship and it will be okay. No, a logical, sensible person would go towards the life raft to be saved, to get out of the water, to get warm. Right? I mean, that, that's what I would do. If I was drowning in the ocean and there was some way to save me, I would swim towards it. I wouldn't sit there debating whether, you know, or not it's real, whether it's, you know, maybe it's just my imagination, maybe it's just not the right thing to do, maybe it's my opinion is better than what's out there. I would swim towards the boat with all my might, with all my power, with all my soul, with all my strength, with all my mind. That would be my goal. So in Romans, it gives us a presentation of how desperate, how utterly desperate we are to be rescued from hell. Everybody's going in the same direction towards hell. The waters are rushing over the edge towards death and destruction. And there's a boat on the side that's going the opposite way, that's wonderful, that's majestic, that's singing songs, that's peaceful, that's loving, that's awesome, that's powerful, that has nothing wrong with it, can go the other direction, more powerful than the water. And yet, we say, no, mm -mm, no, not going towards that. No, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's real. Let's close our eyes and just go over the cliff. Let's see what happens. I wish we were in that position where we're so desperate that we know we need Jesus. But a lot of people are like, well, I'm just happy where I'm at. I'm just content. And we're still going over the cliff. So in Romans chapter 5, verse 6, it says this, For while we were still helpless, for while we were still drowning in the water, while we were still go heading towards the cliff, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. How many people are ungodly? Everybody. Everybody that ever was created because of sin. And sin is opposite of holiness. And we are going over the cliff. And here's this boat. Here's this life preserver. Here's this um, <clears throat> one and only person that is holy and righteous and wonderful and innocent. And he says, I have the life jacket. I have the lifeboat. At the right time, Christ showed up in history. And now the past, present, and future sins can be washed away. can be taken away. We can get on the boat. We're dry. We're warm. With, we're with Jesus, we're with everybody else who has, who has gotten on the boat. And we cry out, we say, come on, come to the boat, come to the Savior. He's saving us from going over the cliff. He's saving us from drowning. He's saving us from, and people are like, no, I don't think you're real. I don't think, I don't think that's, it's there. No, I, my opinion, I'm de it's debatable. How crazy is that? We are so desperate. For love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control that we look for it in things that don't even matter or won't give it to us. Like other people, yourself, the society, heroes, heroines, uh, countries, cities, towns, power, money. All those things are not saving us. They're, they're, they're nothing. And yet, we still keep drowning. And we wonder why history repeats itself. We wonder why... People are hurting. If we just get to Jesus, our whole life, our whole perspective, our whole mind changes. 
and knows that spiritual things last longer than all this physical stuff. I'm not saying get rid of all the physical stuff. I'm saying how we use it is what it's encouraging. So, my encouragement for you today is while you were still going over the cliff, Christ died for you. Now you have to just get on the boat. <clears throat> just have faith in Jesus and do what he says. He is the one with the life preserver. Let's swim to him. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. You have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye now.